My name is Michael Tankley. Hi, I'm Bailey Vinci. Hi, my name is Danielle Struby. My name is Mason Van Beek. Hi, my name is Jeff Van Dusen. My name is Keith Seatstrom. Hi, my name is Barry Lusink. Hi, I'm Connor, and I was one of the people that went on the Kentucky trip. Definitely one of my favorite memories was all the exploring we did. People pulling out skills that maybe we didn't know they had or getting to know people better. Really just spending all of the nights together as a group, whether that be sharing devotions or playing games or really we just bonded as a team really well down there. Uh, watching the, the eight of us as a group um, you know, be called into to serving, uh, going together, uh, and then fulfilling that serving in, in lots of different ways. Uh, it was a lot of fun to kind of get to know each other's personalities outside of a church setting. Um, I haven't laughed that hard in a long time, so that was neat. Uh, the caves, the food, Dr. Pepper, Keith. The hearts of those that work on that campus are such a visible way in which God is working and expanding His kingdom. Those that work there are such good examples of willing and earnest hearts. They are willing to earnestly pursue wherever God calls them. This was going to the trade store they had there. This is where Justice for All actually brings stuff from Rock Valley. Um, it was sweet to see the ladies working there and kind of pouring their hearts into something like that. One way I saw God work was through Pastor Bob. Um, one night he took us up to Ezra's Square, which was a hike up to a hill by his house. Um, there he talked about his vulnerability with PTSD and how God worked through him. And through all of those trials, he was able to find a burning passion for his veterans outreach program. And I saw God at work through how well we all worked together with the guys from Grace Covenant Ministries because we didn't know him at all. Yeah, we still came together and built the roof in about two, three days. By building awnings over two decks for the Williams brothers down there. One was in a wheelchair. Uh, we were very grateful for the things and the work that we put in. Our small group of uh, eight nearly doubled the size of the congregation, but uh, just to see how much they uh, cared for their church and their community and the people in it was was truly inspiring. And, and in that, we were just able to see this really cool picture of it doesn't matter the size of your church, it matters the size of your heart. Uh, and I think when you see that, when you step into that, you just uh, begin to recognize again how the Spirit is at work in front of us uh, and how God is up to something really cool. One way that God impacted me was he really just told me to slow down, to be still, and to let him work through me. Uh, and to see that, hey, as, as disciples, as people who are called to connect, grow, and to serve, um, we're being led deeper together. We kind of had talked about this multiple times throughout the trip, but everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, and it's important to bring out people's strengths. And this trip had a really big impact on me because it showed how well I off I am. This trip impacted me in a way that stirred my heart. It opened my eyes to the truth that we are called to meet people where they are. I oftentimes call people to meet me where I am, and then we can move forward. But the mentality and the way of doing things there is how can we meet this person where they are. That is impactful to me because it reminds me that relationships are important. Taking the time to get to know someone and where they are in life is an important step in speaking the gospel to them. Show the uh just seeing how many people needed help and needed the love of Jesus 
it just reinforced uh, why we were down there and what we were doing. I got to know the other seven people pretty good while we were down there. Uh, devotions every night went really well. Uh, faith renewed in people and faith renewed in faith. So this call to, to serve, this call to, to go and to experience God at work in other places. I think one of the things our group talked about that, that I just want to share as a prayer for, for each of us um, is to be willing to step into that call. Uh, I think there are always places and ways for us to serve right here in Rock Valley. But for some of us, I think the reality is we have to step outside of, of this comfort zone uh, and see God at work in a new way. Uh, and that's what Kentucky was for me, just to experience God working in, in ways that um, I just needed to see. You don't have to go to Kentucky to serve. You don't have to go somewhere far to serve. You can bring your, your serving heart to, close to home. We go on these trips to bring our skills and work to others when we have a need close to home that can be filled. And I think serving comes in many different ways. You just have to find your passion and use that to help others in any way that you can, um, whether that be near home or far away. Um, I think that's the challenge that God calls us to do is to say yes, um, just to go out and be his hands and feet. We might not be able to see results right away, but that's okay because we're called to continue to lay that foundation. Now I encourage you all to serve because what better way to challenge your faith than by being the actual hands and feet of Jesus. P.S. Don't triple stamp a double stamp Kentucky team. That would be terrible.